Hello, this is Stephen Al, and yes, we're back with another Green Hornet 66 episode review. And today, we'll be reviewing the episode, The Secret of the Sally Bell. So without any further ado, let's hop straight into this review. We begin the episode with the Green Hornet and Kato arriving at an old abandoned shipyard, where they, where they are secretly following a small-time crook by the name of Wander, as he's sal as essentially he's ruffling and salvaging through the shipyard, specifically an old, you know, freight. However, Wander seems to notice that someone's following him and begins firing a few shots, only for the Green Hornet to essentially use his um Hornet sting to I think blast the gun he's holding, which results in Wander falling off the ship. Now he survives but he's remained unconscious. It is then revealed that the Green Hornet and Kato were following him as there's two million dollars worth of narcotics, aka drugs, somewhere within this old freight known as the Sally Bell, and Wanda's the only one who knows where. We then do the usual opening credits, and then we arrive with the Green Hornet and Kato taking Wanda to a nearby hospital, where they end up knocking out a guard and going to the nearby, uh, essentially, head nurse. And essentially reveal Wanda who is unconscious, who clearly needs medical attention. The nurse agrees to help, but also instructs her nurse, after that they've gotten the, you know, stuff to help the patient, quickly call the police. The Green Hornet and, Ka and Kato then flee. We then go back to a small apartment where a crime, where essentially a gangster named Selden is waiting along with his hench, and one of his henchmen, clearly waiting for Wanda. Uh, there's a nice little easter egg here as they are watching the Batman 66 TV show which was still on air at the time and was still very popular. Again, a little con a little bit of a fun joke but I think also a reference because the producer of the Green Hornet was also the producer of the Batman 66 TV show. Whilst that's happening, anyway, but back to the episode. However, they get a, a call thinking that it's Wanda but it's actually another one of Selwyn's henchmen who then comes in through the elevator and saying where's Wanda, but however he doesn't know, and he says he thought that he would, and has he not called or anything? And he says no, he hasn't. But they get on the news that that a guy named Wanda was taken to the nearby hospital by the Green Hornet. Realising, however, revealing to the gangsters that are in the apartment the, where Wanda is, and realise they need to get him out. We then cut back to Green, to uh, Britt Reed's apartment, where Frank Scanlon comes in, and reveals, uh, and basically asks, What's going on? Why do they need Wanda for? And Britt Reeve reveals everything. Wanda was part of essentially a drug smuggling ring. Ring where they've been smuggling drug, drugs on a freight known as the Sally Bell. And Frank says, but why couldn't you have called me? I could have easily had it, you know, searched upon arrival. But he says, well, it didn't. It didn't arrive. It was sunk. Well, it sank pretty much on its trip. It was salvaged and brought to the scrap to the scrapyard. And Wanda was no doubt there trying to find the drugs that were on the ship. However, they caught him mid-theft. So Frank Scanlon realises that the narcotics are still aboard, but because there's a thousand hiding places, the only person that could possibly know its pr approximate location could be Wander. Could be Wander. If he lives. Realising the significance of the whole thing, he then Frank goes to call up the hospital to essentially place more, you know, guards and, I guess, protection, and basically to notify, as soon as he wakes up, to notify him immediately to, do so to clearly interrogate someone. Interrogate him. But just as that's happening, Soldan and, and two of his men, Mars, end up crashing into the hospital, knocking out the security guard, taking unconscious Wanda and the head nurse, all taking them out, out at gunpoint, while Frank Scanlon's hearing this over the phone. But then, Frank Scanlon then realises that he's not going to get any help at the hospital because of the kidnapping, he then calls off the operator, operator, essentially to the police, saying that there's been a, there's been a, there's been a kidnap at the hospital and basically a crime has taken place. Just as Frank Scanlon is about to leave, Rich Reed stops him and says, what's he plan to do? Pick up the pieces? They realise the next course of action is to figure out Walden's... Wanda's boss. And realising that Selden is the biggest gangster in the narcotics game, that is the most likely... you know, likely target. So the Green Horton and Kato head to... head to Selden's place. We then go back to the apartment, where Zoldan's apartment, that we've previously seen, with the nurse there trying to wake Wanda out from his coma. Just as well, uh, Zoldan's about to do some very, you know, 
very persuasive interrogation, to say the least. They end up getting a call, realizing that the Green Hornet's coming in on the elevator, saying the Green Hornet to come up, and they quickly get their guns out and do what they did in Batman Forever, shoot up the elevator. But to their surprise, it turns out the Green Hornet was never in the elevator, but is secretly behind her, and basically orders the boys to, you know, all the gangsters to drop their guns. Come on, the Green Hornet has been operating for so long, do they really think he's gonna fall for the classic shoot him up in the elevator trick? Anyway, Green Hornet basically reveals about the whole thing and wants to cut in on the operation, and to prove that he means business, he knows where the location of the possible approximate area location of where the narcotics is, which is more than what Solden does. They then agree to take Walden, a wander, to the location to essentially to help him get the narcotics. Uh, but they also agree that while Son Sonder or Solders takes Wander, the Green Hornet and Kato will take the nurse along with them, as they're both a winning combination. They both take half, clearly not trusting one another. On the drive there, Saunders realise that he needs that he needs to some, find a way to somehow outsmart the Green Hornet. So he calls up a notorious hitman by the name of Honey Boy. As they get to the Sally Bell, the Green Hornet, Saunders and his two gangsters quickly hop out of the car and essentially go through the uh, through the area. The nurse, you can clearly tell the nurse is trying to prevent. Wanders from waking up out of his coma, as he clearly doesn't want the narcotics getting out. Brave thing, but it could jeopardize her life. As a result, Wanda, uh, Saunders orders one of his gangsters to take the nurse out of the bell, essentially outside. Wanders begins to wake up and reveals where the narcotics is. Saunders is happy, and essentially, he and his gangster leaves to get the narcotics. The Green Hornet sees that they're alone, quickly alert Frank Scanlon and his police to quickly, essentially, form a raid. Red and knowing they will be coming any minute. As they then leave, they knock out one of the gangsters and rec rescues the nurse. But just as that happens, Honey Boy's there firing with an assault rifle and essentially are pinned, hiding behind some, I guess, debris. Realizing there's really no way out, the Green Hornet, thanks to Kato, uses the remote control to their Black Beauty. Wait, doesn't Batman have a device for his Batmobile? Anyway, back to the thing. He uses it to fire a rocket launcher at Honey Boy, which essentially knocks him out. I don't know how, don't ask me. Saunders and his two men and his last gangster quickly tries to make a run for it with the narcotics, but the Green Hornet and Kato quickly take him down. They then, and, and just before they leave, they make sure the nurse is alright, and it's clear the nurse is a little bit, well, enamored with the Green Hornet. They offer him a ride, she he offers her a ride, but he feels that he'll be safer with the police, even though he, she says, well, not necessarily. They then quickly leave in the Black Beauty and drive off just as Scrank Scan and the police arrive. We end the ep we end the episode with essentially all the gangsters being rounded up, and Mike and we get and this is also where we get to see Casey and uh, Mike Axford throughout the whole episode, where essentially Mike reveals there's an ad in the newspaper about essentially the nurse asking for uh well the nurse from the previous rock from the essentially the whole episode saying that there's a sort of like, well, basically a subtle hint for a possible date between him and the Green, her and the Green Hornet, and Mike Scanton and Mike Axford believes it is the Green Hornet that she's trying to contact. It's a little funny little joke, it gets a, it gets a little bit of a smirk out of me, and that's where we end the episode. Okay, uh, Mike Axford and Casey do not appear in these episodes, but honestly, I don't think how you could have fit them anyway. It made sense for Frank Scanlon to play a bit of a role in the episode here, and the Green Hornet and that, and Green Hornet and Kato play, you know, a fun. Again, I think wish we could have had somehow Kato really fit more into the story. Uh, again, I understand this is the Green Hornet show, but the sidekick also needs to play a bit of a role, and also Kato doesn't do, get to do this much fighting this time around, which is a real shame to me because honestly, it's one of the highlights of any episode. Let's talk about the villain. Saunders portrayed by uh, Warren Kalmerling, and it's and the gangster's name is Bert Solden, not Solden. Sorry, I probably pronounced the name. He, I honestly don't mind him. He's just another tough guy gangster. You can clearly tell he's making a, a bit of money through this uh narco like narcotics deal. He's essentially is a drug dealer again. Maybe and I like how they the idea they're doing a drug racket in this world of the Green Hornet being more realistic. 
We don't actually get to see the drug, or they'll mention the word drugs, instead narcotics, which is, I guess was the way of getting over the senses at the time. Ironically, though, they said drug a lot in the Batman 66 TV show, so who knows. He clearly was meant for a one-off, but he was a fun addition, and honestly, I think it was a, a, even though it was not a major, I feel he was still a better improvement with the, with the villain in the previous episode. The Secret of the Sally Bell for me is a nice fun episode. Nothing groundbreaking, but a serviceable episode nonetheless. I especially love the nurse in this episode, who was just an absolute, honestly fun. And if the it did get a season 2, it would have made sense to bring this version of the character back. And I felt it was a bit of a shame that she as a character was never brought back in the episode where the Green Hornet got shot in the arm and she, he desperately needed medical attention. I don't know, I felt it was a missed opportunity and it could have helped with the well, more of the world building. But anyway, it was still a fun episode. This is a still, I think Sally Bell is also a fun episode and I like how the sort of atmosphere we have on a shipyard. I don't know, it just really adds to the episode in my opinion. There we have it, that was The Secrets of the Sally Bell. Join us next time when we review the episode uh, freeway, uh, freeway to death. So until next time, this has been the Stephen Hour, and ladies and gentlemen, so long for now.